In this video, I will show you how to use starter to obtain legs. Legs refer to legged observations. Now, these are very useful in time series modeling. First, we obtain data using Yahoo Finance. I have done a separate video of how to obtain data from Yahoo Finance using Python. Now, um, first, we um, go and look for Bitcoin. I fancy some Bitcoin um, US dollar. We look at the whole time series. We go to historical data. And here we can modify what we are looking for. I go for daily frequency and I want to have the longest time period possible. And I download the data just clicking here. And this will download the data as um, a comma separated file, as a CSV file. And that's perfect for processing in Starter. Now, back in Starter, I opened a Starter do file. I used a change directory command and I moved into my target directory. Next, I use the insheet command. Um, this imports the data into Starter. So I use insheet using the file name. And in this case, I add the clear option to remove all data in memory. I always do this as a default to make sure that um, everything which um, has been opened um, is cleared before I start importing additional data. Now, looking at my data set using the BR, the browse command, um, I obtain um, the date, the open, the high, the low, the close, and an adjusted close, as well as the trading volume. I will just focus here on the daily closing price. Um, and what I want to do is I want to create now a lagged closing price, which I might maybe like to use in a time series model. The easiest way to obtain that um, is to define a time series. Once Starter knows that we are operating in a time series model, I can use some built-in functions. So first I generate a time variable. I name it time and I use underscore n. So this is literally just counting observations. So if you now look at the data, I have now the time dimension created. Of course, you can work with the existing date variable, but this has to be modified because at the moment it's understood as a string variable. That can be achieved, but honestly, it's quicker just to generate a count variable. Then I T set my data. So this um, basically tells Starter that I work with a time series. Once I have done that, I can operate using time series operators. You obtain the lagged value, which I call close underscore L, you can call it as you want, as L dot the original variable. So the L dot gives me a lag by one unit. So it's the previous day's closing price. If we look at the data, we now see our lagged variable is lagged by one period. If you wish, you can lag by more than one period just by adding a number. So for instance, if I put a two in here, it will lag by two periods. There's an alternative way to do lags in Starter using the underscore n notation. In this case, um, you don't have to specify a time dimension. You just have to make sure that um, the time series is sorted. So as long as the order is correct, you can refer to the previous value in rectangular brackets using underscore n minus one. In most applications, I prefer the lag operator which works after you define a time dimension. That's all for this video. I see you in the next one.